What's up dudes? We got another beautiful guitar body here that I made. This is a flamed redwood top from Kimball Hardwoods. He gets these amazing tops every once in a while. Tons of figure. It's a one piece alder back. It's been hollowed out with an F hole in this area. And then we have a matching control cover cavity that is perfect. We're going to stain this black today. We're going to go with a Brock Burst, a dark, dark Brock Burst on this flame redwood. Haven't done a redwood stain top in a long time. Redwood sometimes absorbs the dye a lot, so then you're fighting with it. It can be a little splotchy. But if I stain it all black first and then layer in the colors, it should work out really well. I'm actually gonna stain it with a brown and black. I mixed a 50-50 mix. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stain this black first, sand it off on the uh, top, and then we're gonna add additional colors such as red, yellow, and a little bit of orange, that should do it. So we'll put on a nice thick coat of black. Careful when you are wiping along the F hole, you don't want it to drip in. Thought about taping it, but I'm not. You can see how beautiful this piece of wood is with just a minimal amount of work already. Redwood, like I said, sucks up the dye, so I gotta put a couple of coats in here. Flip this over and stain the back and the sides. The sides of this are really beautiful. Lots of flecks of color in here. You can see that here. One of the cool things about alder is it's, it's kind of a wild wood. And every once in a while you get some real neat pieces of wood in there. This is really absorbing the stain. All right, so we're gonna add some Angelus red leather dye. We're going for that Brock Burst look. Once you put this red in, it's not coming out. So red has that trait of all the Angelus colors. There's something about this dye that just doesn't wanna come out. So the Brock Burst has a nice dark outside. Take the colors to the center. Come back with some yellow. We'll wash them together. Blend them up. That looks outstanding. See how much red dye gets picked up? We're gonna hit the center once more with yellow. Really want that yellow to pop. Twist it, fade it in, like so. Come back and drag some red on the side. I 
think we'll take a little bit of the black and hit it with the neutral just to darken up the edge. Like so. We'll wash it with the red, like so. And that looks outstanding. Once we hit it with seal wool, it'll pull some of that color up. I think I'm just gonna leave the back black. Let it dry. Uh, we got one spot right here. Where the color streaked. Alright, leave it. What's up dudes? We are done with what was supposed to be a Brock burst on Redwood and it just didn't come out to that at all. I consider this more of a chocolate burst. It has red and yellow but the black and the brown really sort of muted the hues of the red and the yellow and it just looks outstanding I mean I the depth of this grain is significant and you can actually see even after it's been sanded on a drum sander just a little bit of the wave of the flame of the redwood this has got about four coats of true oil I sanded the true oil in that last bit and then applied one more coat and if I really wanted to I could probably buff this um, but it's perfect. There's a little zinger there from who knows. There's a little scratch there, but I've got a control cover for it that I will ship with you guys. We're going to sell this for $375 shipped. If someone wants it. It's got to dry a little bit. It is beautiful. It smells just put that last coat of Troy all on. It's got to dry a little bit. I'll ship it shortly, but it is really beautiful. Really neat looking guitar body. I mean, the depth of this is amazing. This will look amazing playing or sitting anywhere. A streak right there. Probably could do one more coat now that I'm looking at it. But that's my eyes versus your guys' eyes. You know, steel wool once more, one more real thin coat. But as this ages and you play, you'll get the nice wear on it anyway. So, 375 shipped a, I guess a muted Brock burst turned into more of a chocolate burst. It's just really neat. I mean, the depth of this figure is beautiful. Thanks for watching, guys. We are back at it. This is the new filming setup. Got my sponsored Angelus dies. You can purchase those in the link below. So thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.